So in today's video, we're going to try to take a mouthpiece that looks like this, nice and dark inside, and make it look like this. Stay tuned. trumpet mouthpiece. Now, you probably clean yours a lot more often than I do, but I wanted to make a point with this one. Um, and uh, make sure you all know this is a, a Yamaha Bobby Shoe Jazz mouthpiece. Um, you can even tell the cup's a little discolored. And there's a darkness in that uh, throat there, where a newer, this is a Bobby Shoe lead trumpet mouthpiece. You know, and it's a lot cleaner, a lot shinier. If you look down that bore, you look how shiny that is. You can't really see much in this one. Um, likewise, when you look down the throats of these things, look how shiny the lead is, and look how dark this one is. So let's see if we can make this one look like this. So the supplies that we need to do this is First and foremost, a mouthpiece brush. Mine's a little bent, as you can tell, but um, this is a Yamaha that I got out of their kit. Um, and what I like about it is this little rubber tip on here. Um, when they make these, they just twist wire around these brushes and then they cut off the end. And so it's usually really, really sharp. So the fact that Yamaha takes a little extra time to put that rubber thing on there. Um, really makes a difference. I think that's uh, a really nice touch. Next thing we'll need is a nice uh, cloth to dry this off. I like this uh, Yamaha polisher cloth. Again, it came in the kit that this thing came in with. Um, it's almost like a light chamois uh, and it's it's soaks up the, the water and um, it's nice and soft so it won't uh, uh, put fine scratches on, on the surface of the mouthpiece. The other thing we're going to need is some dish soap. I like Dawn. It's simple. It's a degreaser. Uh, it washes away very easily. Um, and it uh, comes in really, really big bottles. Last thing that we'll need for step three of this is something I've uh, found to be very, very useful is a Scotchgard 3M uh, Tarnish Shield Silver Polish. Uh, cleans, protects. Um, and that's really a nice feature. It, it, will prevent tarnish from building up on your trumpet or any uh, silver plated mouthpiece. Um, none of these are none of these products are sponsored. It's stuff I bought bought this straight from Amazon uh, just to see how it does as I did with the Yamaha kit that all these other uh, doodads came in. Um, even the mouthpieces I picked up on Amazon as well. Um, so I've experienced what you would experience if you actually purchase these on Amazon as well. So let's uh, get this started. Up in this is just just wash it up. Um, so I'm gonna get some lukewarm water here. Um, kind of rinse it off real well, and then I'm just gonna add a drop. If I can just get two drops, and we can have to more than the drop. But just a drop of the soap. Kind of wash off all the dirt and the other stuff that might be growing on this poor thing. Uh, let's uh, wash it off very nice. Okay, voila, it's clean. Is it as clean as the uh, Bobby Shoe Leaf? No, unfortunately not. Um, and no, you don't have to use a Yamaha cloth on a Yamaha mouthpiece. It, <laughs> the mouthpiece doesn't know the difference. <laughs> um, so it looks a little bit better. No, not really. Well, a little shinier, uh, just to get rid of some of the residue. Um, but the real cleaning comes when I use uh, this, the mouthpiece brush. 
So for step two, we use our mouthpiece brush. So I will wet it with a little lukewarm water. And then I'll put just a, let's see if I can get a, just a drop on there. That's, well, how about a drop and a, and a half, how's that? And you just go in and out. So as you can see, um, see the darkness <laughs> that's on the mouthpiece brush? And you can actually start to see it's, it's getting much cleaner just with that short amount of time. So I'm going to put a little more water in here. And let's see if we can scrub it so we get a nice bit of uh, cleaning action out of there. So you can tell I've been going through. So I also like to go the other way. Um, just to make sure I get the whole throat back bore of the mouthpiece nice and clean. It's actually more disgusting than I thought it was going to be. All right, so let's see what happens when I rinse this guy out. So as you can see, that's a lot better. Much, much better. So let's try to compare these two. So if you look at the throat, you can actually see the sides are much cleaner. So much, much cleaner. There still looks like there's some debris still in there. As you can see that down there on the side. So I'm gonna repeat this. And hopefully you don't have to repeat it like I'm doing here, that your mouthpieces get cleaned a lot more often than, than I cleaned this little guy. Um, I want to say that I did this on purpose to prove a point, you know. I'm going to make this mouthpiece really, really dirty. I'm not going to clean it very as often as I should have so that it gets really disgusting. So it'll make a nice video. <laughs> Uh, the reality is, is, is I don't do this nearly as often as I should. Okay, how does that look now? Okay, that's a lot better. So compare the previous viewing of what this thing looked like before and, and what it looks like now. Just very, very different. So the outside's clean. The inside's significantly cleaner. Look at that. Okay, so now that we've got the outside has been washed, the inside is significantly cleaner. Now we go on to the last and final step and we use the tarnish shield. So strongly recommend uh, to read the directions and follow them as well. Shake well, apply liberally, wash it off and try it. Sounds good. Okay, let's shake this up and let's get to business. Okay, so I will apply some here. And this polish has also been recommended by some different uh, trumpet and flughorn manufacturers. Um, it's a way to remove tarnish and so you can see right there just by rubbing it in that one spot, you see how it has removed most of the tarnish just in that area. So let's see if I can rub a little bit more. Now you see how it is clean that section versus everything else. So I'll just keep rubbing this. You can use a cloth, but um, I found just a gentle Rubbing with my hands seems to work out well. Um, again, these mouthpieces are silver plated. Um, and that's because if we had a raw, these things are made of brass, right? So if, if it was just raw brass or uncoated or unplated uh, brass, then our lips uh, and our face would come in direct contact with that material. Um, and while it would take some time, there have been 
cases where people can get sick from the metals that are in the raw brass. There's copper and other things that apparently aren't that great for us. So I'm going to just keep rubbing and rubbing and as you can see it's definitely starting to clean up a quite a bit here. So let's see what it looks like when I rinse it off. So you can see it's made a big difference in just how clean and shiny this thing is. Um, but there's still some embedded uh, tarnish. That's probably the hardest part is along this uh, decorative area here. So I'll keep working on that. Yeah, we'll see if we can get this thing really, really clean. So I'll add a little bit more. Um, the nice thing is this, this bottle, it's a, it's a big bottle and you really don't use that much. As you can tell, how little I used and you see how clean the the outer portion of the rim got. Um, so there are chemicals in here that dissolve the tarnish. The nice thing I like about it is there's no abrasives. Um, there's nothing harsh in there that will scratch or try to remove any of the finish. Um, it's just there to, um, it's the chemicals that actually remove the tarnish from the surface without damaging the surface. So cleaning the inside of the cup, because in this case it was pretty nasty as well. Um, so yeah, that's staying pretty dark. So I may need to use or follow the directions and actually use a little bit of a, out of a cloth to try to help this out. So actually once I rinsed it off, it uh, looks pretty good. There's still a little bit of tarnish on there, um, but for the purpose of this video, we'll call it clean. I'll probably come back and do this, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it would look like. Now here's a pro tip for you all that I do, is I add a little bit of this into the mouthpiece itself, and then I'll use my mouthpiece brush to clean and protect um, the inside of the mouthpiece. Now you definitely want to rinse this stuff off and rinse it out very, very well um, so that you don't get any of this. But look how dark that uh, mouthpiece brush got from the tarnish that's on the inside of the mouthpiece. So the reason for doing this is one, it Makes it really, really shiny in there. So I got rid of all of the tarnish. Um, the second thing is by protecting the mouthpiece, um, this polish will hopefully help uh, tarnish and leather debris from gathering on there. So I'm going to make sure I rinse it out really, really, really well because I put that stuff in there. I definitely don't want to be. Uh, licking that or eating that when I'm playing. So, the goal of this was to make this look like this. So, here's the Bobby Shoe Jazz. Here's the Bobby Shoe Lead. And let's take a look. So, remember how dirty this one was? Look how much cleaner they both are now. So. Definitely see. In fact, I can probably run the mouthpiece brush through this one and make it a little bit cleaner. But a lot cleaner, a lot less disgusting to put onto your face. In fact, you see how the cup is nice and silvery and shiny. Um, looks like, yeah, I'm going to definitely clean this one out as well. There's some stuff in there. So I think there's a little bubble of water in there. So I'll have to clean that out. But yeah, much, much nicer, much, much cleaner. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for playing along.